I'm going to show you how to take a regular old penny and turn it into a silver penny and then eventually into a gold penny. Now that's pretty awesome, right? This is a really good excuse to go dig out those old pennies and then sort through them. Try to find the nicer ones. They're going to turn out better. They're going to look a little better as a gold penny than the roughed up ones. Get yourself a nice big pile and let's turn these things into gold. We need sodium chloride, that's table salt, regular old vinegar, some one molar zinc chloride, and some granular zinc. We're going to start off with three grams of table salt. That's one tablespoon. And then one tablespoon of vinegar, that's about 15 milliliters of vinegar. We're going to combine these together. We're going to stir it up and let the salt dissolve ever so slightly. And then we're going to take our pennies and start dropping them in. What we're doing here is cleaning them up. Mainly we're getting rid of the oil from people's hands, any of the grime that's built up over the years, because we want a nice gold color. After about 10 minutes, I'm going to dump that out and then rinse them and dry them off really good. No more touching them with our hands at this point. We don't want the oil on them. So we got a nice, clean, oil-free penny. We need to add some granular zinc to our one molar zinc chloride. I've got 20 milliliters here. And then we're going to mix those together and we're going to heat it up. So I'm going to do this on the Bunsen burner, but you could do it on a stove top in a beaker as long as you've got a heat resistant piece of glassware. Once it's nice and boiling, drop my pennies in. And what this is going to do is actually coat the pennies with zinc. So I've been telling you silver pennies, but they're not really silver. They're coated with zinc. Now, when I pull them out of there, I'm going to drop them in water. I'm using distilled water. And that way it's going to take any of the zinc particles off. If you have big chunks of zinc left, all you got to do is take paper towel and just kind of chisel it off there with your fingernails. And now we've got a whole bunch of silver, well, zinc coated pennies. They look good, but let's turn these things into gold. What we need for that is some heat. We got to get this heated up so that the zinc now is basically going to migrate as it becomes partially molten into the copper of the penny. When it does that, we're going to make an alloy and it's not gold. What we're making here is brass. Do you see that color change? And we're going to take that hot penny and drop it in some distilled water. That'll keep it from heating because if you heat it too much, that zinc's going to migrate in really far and you're going to have a copper penny again. Check this one out. We're heating it up. You're going to see it turn to brass right about here. Look at that change. Drop it in the water. That's going to freeze everything in place and we've got a nice brass alloy. Now you don't have to have fire to do this. This is a hot plate where you can boil water. You could do it on the stovetop, set that on there, and look at this. We get a nice gold penny just like that, or a brass penny. Drop it in the water, it's gonna freeze everything in place. And here we go. We've got a nice collection of gold pennies. As long as we could fool somebody that they're actually gold. Well, there you go. Now you know how to make a gold penny. And you also know that it isn't really gold, right? We've got our copper penny, we've got a zinc plated penny, and then we've got our brass penny at the end. But it looks gold and maybe you'll be able to fool somebody, it's hard to say. There's people always asking me, well, where do I get that stuff? Where do I get those supplies? I put everything on my website at bealscience.com. You can find a link right down there in the description. And we've always got a lot more videos coming out. You know what? We're trying to make science fun. Hit the subscribe button right over there and we'll keep you up to date whenever a new video comes out. But you know what? I appreciate you watching. We always end with this. Keep on learning.